Hi, my name's Hugh and thanks for joining me again in my home studio. Today I'm going to process a bunch of beats that I've made in my MPC through this Kemper modeling amp and I just think it's a really really great combination. So let's dive in and go searching for the new sound. <laughs> I hope that this gives you some inspiration for your own productions. Guitar amps are often known for their colour and then a modeler like this just makes an infinite amount of possibilities available to you just at pushes of buttons. Running your signal through boxes is just a great way to insert some vibe into your track. It's like an ASMR sensory sort of thing where you can just impart more variation and more tone colour and it makes it really really interesting for the listener. It's like painting, again, just subtle, subtle hues and finer and finer details and finer, finer shades of, of tone and timbre and colour. And uh, I just think it that's what I love in recordings. Dub producer The Scientist is a massive fan of the guitar amp. Don't forget that if you're loving this, hit like and subscribe down below right now and then head straight over to the Muso's Corner YouTube channel where there are heaps more videos for your entertainment. Adding saturation to your signal is always a good thing. It makes it easier to mix and blend with other sounds, but it also makes the initial sound more interesting. Whether it's an odd or an even saturation, it just makes that audio information more detailed and thicker. Fatter or warmer as it's often described. Guitar amps are nitpicked and laboured over for the timbre of their distortion.
You can check out the Kempler on the Musos Corner website. That's www.musoscorner.com.au. I'm Hugh Jones, and like always, happy music making. Use those